this. So I was going to get a from a, it, the in-house bakery here at QFC, which this location is mostly cakes and they had a leftover slices of cakes, but I actually saw something else. So <laughs> my QFC specific bakery item is a little bit delayed. I got something that's a little bit of a surprise and you're free to judge me. I'm filming this at like eight something in the morning. I'll put the time I start filming this video. They're single take, single take. Um, I'm at QFC 100 Ave 100th Avenue, I think it's West, also put that in the video description, in Edmonds, Washington State, there's more than one location in Edmonds, if I'm recalling correctly. So here's the store, front, and I went to the bakery looking for something specific uh, from QFC, and I saw something that was so timely and so perfect that I'm like, okay, it is from Chuckanut Bay, so Chuckanut Bay is that way, uh, it's, and specifically this so Chuckanut Bay is the brand and it's per packaging based in Blaine, Washington. Blaine, Washington is where the border crossing to Canada is. So like if I'm driving to Vancouver, Canada, I go through Blaine and the border crossing at the Peace Arch, um, and Peace Arch State Park and stuff. So, and I've actually been there for math Olympiads competitions and stuff, but I saw this and I was like, this is so timely and so perfect. It's Chuckanut Bay Irish cream, that's a, which is a liqueur cheesecake. So I'm going to have this. It's $3.49. And I have not done a cheesecake sweet eats on my channel yet. Uh, I don't eat cheap cheesecake very often. And I don't drink liquor very often. I, I think I maxed out at like twice a week having liquor like two days out of seven days in a week when I lived in South Africa. It's just something that I haven't ever managed really to get into. Um, like my system can't handle it. Not that I dislike it. I actually like like hard liquors. I can't drink beer. I'm allergic to wheat. So I do like hard liquors and wine's okay. But like uh, um, what I prefer is um, hard liquors. And um, I couldn't quite get into it. My system struggled with it. Uh, like I'd feel sluggish and stuff like that. So it wasn't really for me, but I do res respect that other people like it, like kind of thing. Um, and so this is an Irish cream cheesecake, Chuck and Bay. 300, one of these cakes is 360 calories, 23 grams of fat, 64 milligrams of calcium, and 2 milligrams of iron. And it does not list vitamin C, which I also do on the Tannis diet with PMS modifications, but because I have like a cup of orange juice, that's typically good. So let's take a look at this Irish cream cheesecake beauty. I think it's, so it's a mini. And I got my, you know, REI utensil, which is not too big for it. I was like thinking in my mind, I was like, is that going to be too big? No. Yeah. I don't know if this is the best food to eat in a car like this. First piece can be messy. I missed the pot. Oh no. No. Tastes like Irish cream. You know, just all right. More finger food. This piece. Well, partially, I came to the store for a bakery item. Partially, I came for groceries. Got my bag of groceries on. The seat over here. Here we go. So here's the Irish cream flavor is intense. It kind of a so I said this was timely why is this timely St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th so I guess next Saturday so this is the 10th is that right seven days from now yeah the uh
Texture of the cheesecake is good. Texture of the crumble is good. I'm... The chocolate is definitely a more subtle flavor for this pairing. It's not that I can't taste it, it's that it's the Irish cream is the most dominant of flavors. Or maybe not dominant, domineering. It's like, I'm taking over your palate. So if one drinks alcohol more frequently than I do, which these days is like never, um, haven't had an alcoholic beverage in like over three years. I'm not sober. I just have not been inspired to the occasion. Um, this might not be so strong a flavor if your palate is used to it. I found that when I drink more anyway. The flavoring of alcohol and foods does, isn't quite as strong when one's taste buds are used to it. In liquid form. Oh, this is kind of cool. Um, the packaging is biodegradable. And then there's, I guess, real good cheesecake. It is good cheesecake. It is not. So alcohol is not, like, fat, creamy. It's alcohol calories. There's, like, fat calories, protein calories, carbohydrate calories, and then alcohol calories. There's, like, four different basic types of, like, molecular structure to calories. And alcohol is its own thing. And, um... I, 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 can, I can feel the energy already. It's going to be lower than a 10 out of 10. Yeah. The Irish cream, I'm not... If I had been drinking more, this probably would be a 10 out of 10. I'm, I was feeling ambitious. I have a 9 out of 10. I will say cream liqueurs tend to be a little bit of an acquired taste, kind of like peppermint. Um... It's it's a where I was going with the calorie breakdown was alcohol can have a very distinct flavor. It's not quite like you know fat from cow milk kind of cream and a cream shake cream cheesecake. There might be that too, but there's alcohol has a little bit of a different flavor. Um, so for me, I'll give it a nine out of ten. It was good. It was tasty. Perfect serving size. Cute cute container. Love that it's biodegradable. Um, love that it's local border with Canada, you know, that away from in this car. Um, I'm in Washington State, live in Washington State currently. So, uh, yeah, I'm not buzzed. I, I don't think there's enough alcohol in there for that. Um, but yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day and happy Sweet Eats for this 9 out of 10 Chuck Nut Bay Irish Cream Cheesecake. Spontaneous. I still got to get something from a QFC bakery though. One of these days, 